The new data ingestion process makes it even easier to add new files, folders, disk images, mounted or live devices, Windows memory files, attached Android or iOS devices, and iOS backups. Select the green Add button in the component list to add evidence to a case. Alternatively, the examiner may drag and drop their data of interest onto the Add button. A new Add Evidence window appears to present all applicable options for data ingestion. In the upper left, attached and mounted or live devices are shown, including attached and unlocked mobile devices, and below that are all files, folders, memory images, and disk images that are being added to the case. It is now possible to add multiple items to the case at the same time. Simply select each item that needs processing. Processing options for each item or volume remain selectable by the examiner so that each piece of evidence can be processed in only the desired manner. When a live Android or iOS mobile device is attached and the pin has been used to unlock the device, data can be acquired. The device will be shown in the Attached Mounted Devices area. By highlighting the device, its information is revealed in the middle portion of the window. We even borrowed a special feature from BlackBags Mobileyes, the Mobile Device Acquisition and Triage tool. Blacklight now has the ability to perform a limited collection when the device allows it. When a specific type of data is being sought and there is a limited amount of time to gather it, this feature can be a game changer. Select the checkbox next to Limited Collection and choose the Ellipses button to select precisely which items to include in the collection. Select or deselect the checkboxes to designate which data is to be included in the collection. Green text denotes items that, if collected, are automatically parsed and integrated into Blacklight's various views, while black denotes third-party application data. For applicable devices, users have the ability to select individual items from within the Mobile Media iTunes control for collection, rather than collecting that entire directory. For devices running iOS 8.3 or newer, collection of certain data is restricted, so the examiner may wish to go back and run a full collection to acquire as much data as possible. If the examiner chooses to continue with a limited collection, some items in the list may appear grayed out to denote that they are unable to collect due to iOS 8.3 security restrictions. Select the OK button to proceed.